everyone uh, in this tutorial i'll take you through on how uh, to export uh, filter data uh, using Django and python to export to excel so by the end of the video you'll have such kind of a data so this is the data i have gdp for countries for specific countries um, from 2013 to 2016 and you can filter with a country for example let's say united states and click search and it will show you uh, the data for united states the gdp and you can export to excel you can open the excel okay see the data here so you can see uh, you have the gdp list uh, 26 2013 to 2016 for united states and that data and as well you can uh, filter with the year Let's say we want to see the GDP for all the countries for 2016. Click on search, then export. It will show you the GDP for all the countries. You can see here. Okay, so let me take you through the code. Uh, so uh, on the code, I have this model. The model holds the name of the country, the code, the year, and the value of their GDP. Then uh, here I have the view. So in in in, we're going to use this library to export the data to Excel. Okay. So first of all, I create here a function that only returns a valid query. So if the parameter it will only return if the parameter is not empty and the parameter is not none. Then here I create uh, a function that lists all the countries. So you can see here the query set is the, the all the countries list ordered by their name then this name and year i get this uh, name and year as a filter values from the egg from the html file you can see here name year and name of the country here so when i get those uh, values yeah then i store those values in the session okay then after that i call the function the one that returns only varied query and i take where name contains and the same thing where year equals year then i paginate the data where each and every page has 30 pages then here on the context i return okay i return the query set i return the name the year then i return to this uh, html file and that one is the one that displays this data in this table a filter here for example if you want to see the gdp of india 2016 if you want to see the gdp of um, china uh, etc okay so you can this this function uh, this function is the one that returns uh, is the one that returns or is the one that is used to display the data uh, in this table and it's one that for filtering purpose you can filter with the name and the year and now you can see here we get the year we get the name and then we return that data that has already been filtered that has been filtered to the html file okay then here this is a function that exports the data uh, to excel so in this case you can see we query the data same query set but then if you look at this function we stored the name and the year into the session so in this case we get that data we get the name from the session if then if the name exists in the session we return the name and else we return none same thing we get the year from the session that was saved in the session if it exists we return the year if else we return none then we call the the function that only returns varied query here then okay if year is none we return the entire period from 2013 to 20 to, from 2013 to 2016 else we return the year and if name is none or it's empty we return the all names all uh, if exists we return the name of that country okay then here this one is the one that determines the type of format 
uh, file format that we are going to export then here <coughs> we define the, the the file name and you can be able to manipulate here the file name you can add date you can add time you can add anything that you want so you can add here anything as far as this file is concerned okay the file name then here workbook dot workbook so then we take the work the active uh, the active uh, excel sheet then from there for a to d we merge the cells and then the same thing for a1 ad we merge the cells a2 ad we merge the cells if you look at our excel file here you'll be able to see this cell here the first one here this one is a3 and this is d3 so in our first case this is a this one is a1 and this is d3 d2 d, this is a1 d1 a2 d2 a3 d3 so based on that data uh, we come based on that we merge the those cells okay then we call the first cell now because we've already merged the cell this one is a1 because it's a single cell then uh, we take a first cell is equal to a1 then we use that one we put the the value of that one is the country's gdp then we add the year filter so for example here you can see it's country gdp list 2016 then uh, we fill uh, uh, we put the background color this one then after that the text should be bold and we put the color for the text then we align uh, the text we want the text to be aligned in the center the we merged the cells in two so it's only a single cell that is a2 okay so for a2 the value is the name that's the name of the country and we put the the styles here if you look at the documentation uh, open. if you look at the documentation for this library the, it has so many features that you can use uh, including like styles if you look at this documentation including security how you can set up uh, how you can set up encryption there's so many features that you can use here so you can go these through this documentation you can see here these are the like uh, the table the formats that you can have for tables uh, you can have protection this is if you want to set security you can be able to see here how to set a password and security okay so you can even work with formulas how you can add formulas to your excel file so there are so many things uh, so you can go through this documentation and you'll be able to see all these features okay then after that we define the titles so we have the country name country code the year and the value then because we are starting at row number three because we've already used one where we put in the name and the year two where we put in um, the the GD, the title plus the year and then you can see we're going to start here we have the first one second so the title will be in the third row okay then for that third row we define uh we populate uh those the names or the titles into that uh row then we define this as styling then after that now we want to put in the data so we take for countries in the query sets uh, we are going to increase the record every every loop it increases it, it it adds the other record every loop it adds the other record then here this is the data that we are going to put so it's country name country code country year, and country value and then we populate that data into the excel rows and columns here and here if the instant is a decimal 
then we put the separators then after that we save and return and you can see here if it decimal you can see it has the uh, it has the commas okay thank you for watching uh, and in case of any question please comment and let me know okay bye bye